In your courses, you'll be researching topics that are new to you. This means finding information and then citing your sources. Citations appear in two places in your academic work, in the text of your paper, known as an in-text citation, and also in the form of a citation list at the end of your paper. But why are they needed? In scholarly writing, a citation shows the reader where you found the information, so they can evaluate the source and locate it themselves. But a citation is not just about attribution and avoiding plagiarism. It also demonstrates your own evaluation and analysis of the literature. Citation is used to establish connections between contrasting ideas, writers, and perspectives, including your own opinions. Use it to validate and refute points of view. Use it to ensure you do not accidentally copy or paraphrase someone else's ideas without attribution. Through citation, you are standing on the shoulders of giants, meaning that you are capturing the learning and discoveries of contemporary scholars and those who came before you. Citation illustrates that you have accomplished a credible and scholarly investigation, and your professor will be expecting it. You might be asking yourself, do I need to cite everything? This is an excellent question. Let's start by covering what you don't need to cite. You do not need to cite anything that is considered common knowledge, meaning facts that people are familiar with, such as the capital of a country. You also do not need to cite your own opinion, experiences, or ideas. Now let's move on to what you do need to cite. You do need to cite the following. When you directly quote, summarize, or paraphrase, facts that are not common knowledge, data and statistics from someone else's research, visuals such as infographics, photographs, and maps, and any other publication or idea that is not your own, including video, social media, PowerPoint, web page, lectures, and so on. Remember, one reason you're citing is to direct your audience to the source of the information and also give credit to the work done by others. It's better to cite to be safe when you are unsure whether something is considered common knowledge. Now, you may be wondering how you construct a citation. First, check with your instructor for the style to use. Most citations include author, date, title, publisher, or the name of the periodical. There are many citation styles to choose from depending on your discipline. For example, APA is typically used in the social sciences and MLA in the arts and humanities. Some citations can be tricky to create. In those cases, you can consult an official style guide. You can generate citations quickly in Google Scholar and Omni. Just click on the single quotation mark. Many databases let you compile citations in a folder and then email them to yourself and move them into a citation manager. Remember, you still need to proofread your in-text citation and citation lists. Also, remember to keep track of them as you go. When you have lots of resources to organize, a citation manager can help. Tools like EndNote and Zotero are fantastic because they do the organizing for you. You can upload and store full text PDF you can group citations together in folders by course or project, and you can click on a folder and create all the citations at once in any style you want. To find different citation style guides, please visit library.queensu.ca under Help and Services. For further support, please go to the library homepage and use our Ask Us service.